John Nichols home from Boating New Zealand magazine. Today we're with the new Haynes Hunter 725 OP Overlander. Now this is a brand new model from Haynes Hunter. It's got the Anura amphibious system. It's pretty trick and it uh, is a beautiful boat in every way. The Haynes Hunter Overlander OP725 combines the sophistication and high quality fit out of the recently upgraded SB725 with the seamless integration of Anura's S25 electric over hydraulic amphibious technology for boats. Nothing about the Overlander feels like an afterthought. Even the hydraulic hoses and electrical cables are hidden inside conduits, the hydraulic reservoir and electric over hydraulic pumps are hidden away and amphibious controls are discreet. From inside the boat there's almost nothing to indicate that it is anything other than another SP725 until you spot the wheel assemblies hanging off the transom. The front wheel is invisible from the helm. Preparing Haynes flagship 725 for amphibious duty involved a certain amount of strengthening. Carbon fibre reinforcing replaces e-glass along the bottom and on the transom and in the new bow mould insert which accommodates the front wheel assembly. All up, the Overlander's dry weight is 2.4 tonnes with Yamaha's new 350 horsepower V6 outboard, around 3.4 tonnes on an optional road trailer. The Overlander is a premium hardtop model with classy teak and black vinyl trim, comfortable seats, C-zone digital switching, a Simrad MFD, windscreen demisting, good storage options and a large, fully lined cockpit. It also boasts a lined cabin with good seated headroom, Generous V-berths and overnighting facilities including a separate head, twin burner LPG cooker and underseat fridge freezer. Everything you could need for a comfortable overnight stay, whether at sea or camping on shore. For amphibious conversion, the V-berths were shortened slightly to accommodate the front wheel assembly. In addition, underseat storage on the starboard side is taken up by four 48 volt lithium ion batteries. The fuel tank has been shifted forward, eliminating the underfloor locker, and the transom layout has been modified to accept the pumps, oil reservoir and electric motors under the step through between the rear seats. Haynes Hunter's 725 range is known for its fine performance, safe handling and superior comfort. The Overlander delivers on all that, plus the ability to drive ashore. Haynes Hunter can offer this model with 250 horsepower or 300 horsepower either of which will provide ample power, but with this engine we saw a top speed of 45.2 knots at 6,000 rpm. Cruising at 4,000 rpm gave us around 29 knots, burning around 42 litres per hour. The hull soaks up the bumps and delivers a dry, comfortable ride. So, onboard performance is great, but how well does the Overlander take to the land? Very well as it turns out. Powering the Anura S25 all-wheel drive amphibious system is a new 48 volt 28 kilowatt electric over hydraulic motor supplied by a 12.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. Its hydraulic motors produce a maximum drive torque of 3500 newton meters, while steering on land and sea is also hydraulic using the steering wheel. On land the Overlander can travel at up to 9 kilometers per hour and negotiate a variety of beach types. With no internal combustion engine roaring away in the cockpit, the Anura amphibious system is pleasingly quiet in operation. And simple to operate too. During our review, the Overlander attracted plenty of attention, both on the water and on the beach. Reactions were overwhelmingly positive, especially around the boat's comfort, weather protection and overall build quality. In the SP725, Haynes Hunter started with a very fine boat and then added amphibious capability, which arguably makes the Overlander OP725 even better. It certainly stands out from the amphibious crowd in the best possible way. This is the Haynes Hunter 725 OP Overlander 
It's a beautiful boat, new to the market, and it's making a real splash in the amphibious boat market. John Ackleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.